This is an important question. By itself, it's actually pretty simple, but what we're gonna do here is very often just one step in much larger, more complicated geometry questions. So we need to know how to do this for this question, but also as just a piece of even harder stuff. So it says the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 624 centimeters. So uh, we should draw that triangle. And we have to remember equilateral, it's kind of built into the name. Equi meaning equal and lateral meaning side, meaning all of the sides are the same. So all of these sides are the same. We also need to know too, it's gonna to help later, is that what it also means then is that the angles are all the same and they're all 60 degrees. Um, and so that, you know, it's not an equiangular triangle, but it's the same idea, right? Is it, the angles are the same. And that 60 should start to trigger some things, right? We know that 60 is one of those special angles that has some formulas involved, right? So it's very useful to have that written on your paper so that you kind of get your memory in the right place. Uh, for now though, let's just focus on the perimeter being 624. There's three equal sides, so let's divide that by three. So 624 divided by three is 208. So 208, so all these sides now are 208. Label everything, you never know. And we need to find the height of the triangle because they've given it to us in this kind of weird way, this um, K root three. So the one good thing about the height is it's going to be um, perpendicular to the base, right? That's always kind of the, the case. And so we can create not just a right angle there, but then also a 30 degree angle up here. So now we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Some of you are gonna realize that when we drop the height, we're dividing the 208 in half, and then now we have two sides of a right triangle, and you're gonna go through the whole process of Pythagorean theorem. That works, but you're kind of missing the point then. The whole reason we do this is that we want to have these special triangles because they're given to us in the reference chart, right? So you should remember that 60 and 30 are very special numbers. They, they should trigger you to look here. The, the benefit of these is that we don't need to deal with squaring things in really big numbers, putting things in the right place, or um, dealing with reducing radicals, right? So these are big numbers. They, they might get messy here. So it's much, much better to just use this little shorthand, which allows us to get all of the sides of a special right triangle if all we have is one, right? With Pythagorean theorem, we need two sides. With this formula, we only need one. And so this 2x is corresponding to the 208, well, that gets us the 104 for the side opposite the 30, right? So that is exactly what we have here. Um, and then the side opposite the 60 is going to be X radical 3. So if X is 104, then this is just, here, let's write it in green. This is just 104 root 3. And notice how they asked for it, right? They asked for it uh, without the radical, basically, right? So K root 3 is the height. We are asked for the value of K. So if 104 root 3 is the height, then 104 is the answer. Notice they didn't ask you to round or anything like that, so don't don't bother with the root three, just follow the instructions of what they wanted. But there you go. Um, definitely, definitely much better to be using 30, 60, 90 triangle rules whenever you can. It's just a simpler way to think about all this. It's, it's much less work, it's much less risk, and there are going to be cases where you cannot use Pythagorean theorem and you still need to find the sides of a triangle, so you better get in the habit of using it in these moments so that when you really do need it and there's no other option, it at least comes to your mind. And, and things like 30s and 60s, 45s, radical three, radical two for the 45, 45 one, these are numbers that should make you think and be like, oh, that's a, that's a special thing. I've seen that somewhere. It's in the reference chart. They give you this. You don't need to memorize it. You just need to memorize that it exists and then just use it when the time comes.